what's going on guys hope everyone had a merry christmas um today i'll be reviewing one of my presents this is uh, spider-man classics series 9 black suited spider-man this was um a gift that i knew i was getting um i saw it at the comic book store i was pretty mad because i already knew i was getting it and they had it cheaper there but that's beside the point this is a great figure like this is probably one of the best Spider-Man figures I own. The posability, just the likeness, it's just amazing. I have no gripes with it um, at all. Well, actually, I kind of do have one, but that's beside the point. Now, to get this out the way, um, he comes with this really like dumb gimmick. Let me move him out the way. Um, this is like this backpack thing. You put him on there, he like flies around or whatever. Not really, but. He, it's, you just imagine it's more aimed for, this thing is more aimed for kids the figure isn't but the this backpack thing and he has like this um venom insignia on him and you shoot it it's pretty lame i don't know maybe i'll be able to do something with this when it comes with a display but i highly highly doubt that and it comes with like this like strap to strap him in anyway let me put my my um thing down Here's the figure. Um, you can see I'm just posing him. He has his he has his really like like um, leaping in the air pose. I really liked how this figure came out. Um, just looking at him, it just he just looks powerful. He really does. Now um, the Red Hulk series, uh, Sp Black Suited Spider Man. That's a great figure, but I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, but um, that has nothing on this figure except for the head sculpt. The head sculpt on that figure is really cool, but this is a really, really cool figure. Um, just looking at the, the paint, it's just a very solid, glossy black. Um, it doesn't really look like there's any blue in there, but just looking at how glossy the black is just makes the figure look really cool. The white insignia for the Venom. Um, the Venom insignia came out really nice. Very clean. Little scratch right there, but that's not a big deal. Um... Oh crap. Look guys, I just noticed something. Look at that. That's crazy. He's missing his like web shooter on this side. Oh wow, I just noticed that. That's crazy. Um That's not a big of a deal. I can probably paint that up, but I I highly doubt I'll do that. Um the head sculpt is pretty cool. Doesn't look that menacing, but it's it looks like more of like a little friendly, but um I don't know. Like I said, the Red Hulk Spider-Man, that um, face is very menacing. So yeah, it's very simple, but very awesome. Now, when I realized that the figure existed, I was very excited. But he uses the same body mold as Series A Iceman. And those of you who have him, you know what that figure has a problem with. He has a broken crotch. Mine has a broken crotch. Um... So yeah, but this figure doesn't have that problem so far. I really hope it doesn't, but you never know. Articulation, the head looks up very far. Amazing. Looks down all the way. And with the neck, it looks even more up, even more down. It was side to side. Um, and the neck has a little bit of a pivot. It has a, um inner shoulder joint. Arm, and he has a, a second one too, but I, I'm afraid I'm going to break that, so I don't want to... I don't want to use it. Um, on this Iceman, it's the same body bolt, but you can see like how far that goes up. But that kind of doesn't look right, so I don't really mind it. The arm moves up all the way, down, back and forth. So at the bicep, double jointed elbow, wrist moves side to side, up and down, hands clamp, I mean fingers clamp. It has a diaphragm joint right here. It doesn't really move up and down, but it moves side to side. Ab crunch, waist swivel, and it kind of moves a little bit. I don't know if that's supposed to be her or not. Like it was forward and back, out, swivel at the thigh, double jointed knees, cast swivel, foot moves back and forth, and tour articulation. No ankle pivot, but not that big of a deal. So yeah, this figure is really, really cool. I really like how this came out. Um, just looking at him like that, it's just really cool. I have a lot of displays planned for him. This black suit Spider-Man is probably like my second favorite Spider-Man suit. And just to compare him to the um, regular red and blue Spider-Man. Um, 
can see well this one has a really loose head but they're about the same height so it makes sense that this figure would turn into a black spider-man so yeah i really like how this figure came out um if you can find them pick them up highly recommend it just look at that the posability is off the chain and the lightness is really cool too like if you wanted to get them in a wall crawling pose, you could. You just can't get them to stick, obviously. But it's just a really, really cool figure. Um, I highly recommend that you get this figure. And yeah, um, all right, guys, take care. Happy, have a happy New Year's. I don't know when I'll post again this year, but next year I have a bunch of stuff coming. I'm really tired today. That's why I can barely speak right now. But yeah, I hope you guys have a happy holidays, and I'll catch you later. Peace.